Hello everyone, it's Camia. welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. Um, as you can see I'm in a different setting. I'm visiting my sister in Vancouver. This is Savannah. Hello! <laughs> um, so what I've decided to do is we're going to go book shopping today and I thought I would take you guys along with us. I always get really excited to go book shopping when I come back here. I always make Savannah go with me to Chapters and some of the other places around here and I always end up buying a few books. We're going to be going to three bookstores. We have three planned. One is an independently owned chain, a BC chain. Um, the other three Chapters and then there's a little local used bookstore. I have been quite good about buying books lately. I have only bought one physical book since mid-September, um, although I have bought a number of audiobooks and ebooks. But I do have a few ideas about what I want to get today. Um, so I am going to like treat myself because it's Christmas time and like, I've been so good about buying books, but I'm not going to go completely overboard. Um, my goals are I want to get Anna Karenina because I always like kind of like a long meaty read. Mm -hmm. I don't like the term meaty. It reminds me of, did you see that PETA thing where they were talking about, what? they had this thing about like using language to do with animals, like d like kicking a dead horse and stuff like that, oh, or like yeah. the one that was like kill two birds with one stone is like feed two birds with one scone. <laughs> It's like, I really like that. Okay, I'm using that now. Um, anyway, so, Anna Karenina, but not just any Anna Karenina, I want to get the pretty, um, vintage Russian classic series mm -hmm. yeah. with the Russian textile covers. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is Savannah's copy of War and Peace, but it's like this vintage classics edition. So. And usually they're pretty hard to find in Canada, like I had to order this one from Book Depository. So we think there's one in stock at Book Warehouse. Yeah, that's supposed to be. I'm kind of like, I don't know what I'll do if I can't get it in this edition because that's like, I might just pick something else. I really want it in They did this have a really edition. pretty cover of Master and Margarita though. That's like they another one, one that I was thinking of for more of a modern classic. I'm collecting all of these in this edition. They're really gorgeous. Like, I feel like I'm developing really bad scoliosis from carrying more in peace around. I don't think that's how scoliosis works. <laughs> spine problems. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, the second book that I really want to get is, I have to look up the title, it's Nevermore the Trials of, wait no, Wondersmith, The Calling of Morrigan Crow, which is the second Nevermore book by Jessica Townsend because I read Nevermore the first one last year. It was just so cute and I'm trying to read more middle grade. And then the kind of like dream book that I'm not expecting to actually be able to find at any of these stores, especially chapters, is I'd like to get, um, oh god, I should have looked that up too, but it's like Virginia Woolf's journals, I think it's called like a writer's journal or something, it was curated by her husband, I think, um, after she died. Okay, yeah, so Savannah, what are your plans for what you're going to buy? Um, I don't really have any particular plans. I've been listening to um, the sequel to The Bear and the Nightingale, which is called The Girl in the Tower, but I'm having a lot of trouble with the Russian names and kind of keeping things straight in my head. So I'm thinking of maybe picking up a physical copy of that. I'm also kind of in the mood for sci-fi, so I think I'm going to have a look in the sci-fi section. And I think you should read Left Hand of Darkness if you're going to want something wintry. Okay, I guess I don't <laughs> need to buy any sci-fi because I have so much already is what Camille was saying. The last time we went to this used bookstore, which was about a year ago when I was visiting last year, Savannah bought so many, <laughs> so many books. And the guy joked that she was single-handedly keeping them in business. I would gladly keep an, a used bookstore in business. I mean, yeah. They're I not doing so thing. well it's in this environment. Thing. It is a good thing, <laughs> but also it was like a bit I, well, excessive. I only bought like six, maybe. Yeah. I tried to restrain myself. And we're also kind of going to do some cafe hopping as we travel and we're going to need it because the weather is really 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 bad. It's raining. Oh it's so horrible. We're gonna be so cold and miserable <sighs> but the books and the coffee will keep us warm. Look at that. Look at that rain. Alright so hope you enjoy coming along with us. I'm excited to see what we get. She has a lot of these little porcelain Siamese cats. 
I think she's basically trying to turn into Truman Capote. Okay, so you probably can't even hear us because of the rain on the umbrella, but we've decided to go to Chapters first. And we're gonna get Starbucks while we're there. And I'm gonna get something gross. Like, I feel like I need to have like one. I haven't had a Christmas drink from Starbucks yet this year, but I, I feel like one. I have to have at least one to remind myself how much, how gross they are, <laughs> and that I don't actually like them. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get something sugary with whipped cream on it. What about you? I'm a big fan of gingerbread lattes, so I might get something like that. <sighs> If we survive the if rain. If we survive, we make it and go drown in the streets. What did you order? I got a peppermint mocha. I ordered a salted caramel. How do we know what's inside? Chicken pictures. Pictures of chickens? What, what does it mean, literary chickens? Do they have literary aspirations? I don't know. All right, hello everyone. Um, I hope you can hear us. Um, we had a pretty successful um, shopping spree at Chapters. Um, maybe a bit too successful, but we'll tell you about that later. And now we're uh, just a block away from Book Warehouse, so we're gonna go look for Anna Granada. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we're going to have some beer and then chat about what we got. Um, this is the beer we got. Um, it's a blood orange wheat ale from... Bourbon blood orange. Yes, bourbon blood orange. Bridge Brewing Company, North Shore. So it's like a North Shore van beer. <laughs> We decided to just go to two of the bookstores. Um, so we went to Chapters and then we went to Book Warehouse. Um, and then we realized that we already had so many books and also we had to stop at the liquor store and the pet store to get some food and then little Christmas toys <laughs> for Rhubarb and Badger. Um, and we just had so much stuff to carry that we decided not to go to the used bookstore. Cheers. Oh, right. Cheers. All right, so this is delicious. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Mm. Me? You go. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay, so um, we went to Chapters first. There I got two more books than I was supposed to get. <laughs> so I did succeed in getting um, Wondrous Myth, The Calling of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. So that's here. I'm looking forward to reading this. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Savannah is going to do her next book. Okay, so... I'm just going to pick the top one from the pile. This is How to Be a Good Creature by Cy Montgomery. See? Cy? By Cy Montgomery and illustrated by one of my favorite illustrators, Rebecca Green. And this is actually a gift, a, like a kind of a Christmas gift for Camille because she saw it and I knew immediately that she'd probably want it because she's obsessed with animals etc yeah and I mean I'm interested in that too so I thought I could also kind of read this but this cover is so beautiful isn't it gorgeous I, it has gold foiling and I think it's actually does it have illustrations inside it does it has black and white illustrations inside oh my god it's just so beautifully designed it's so cute Oh, I just love it. So, I mean, I got this, but I'm probably going to read it too. <laughs> and this is the author who wrote that octopus book, right? I just recognize the name, and they have written a book that everybody keeps recommending to me that has something to do with octopuses. Octopi, octopuses? Octopuses. Um, yeah, so it's, a, it's actually a memoir format about the author's encounter with various animals. It and I was right up my alley. Like, I really like <laughs> because in the on the inside flap it begins understanding someone who belongs to another species can be transformative. So they're already using a pronoun that recognizes the animal as an individual. So anyway, yes, very excited for that one. You're welcome for your Christmas present. Okay, so the next book that I picked up at Chapters, we went into the science fiction section, and I just like couldn't stop myself um, from getting more liquid. <laughs> so I got The Lathe of Heaven, um, and I'm really excited to read it. I'm basically gonna work my way through every book that Le Guin has ever written, because she's amazing, and even though I've like heard of her for many years, I didn't really start reading her until a few years ago. I have some friends who are really into her. She's just amazing. The Dispossessed is one of my favorite books, and I'm really excited to read this, even though I don't really know where this fits into her, her oeuvre, but I think that they're mostly kind of standalone. Anyway, turtles on the cover. Okay, so the next book I got for myself at Book Warehouse, and I saw it, and I just... The title drew me in, and of course the author. So <laughs> this is Wool Gathering by Patti Smith and it's just such a tiny little slip of a book so yeah I think it's kind of a memoir of her early childhood yeah there are lots of pictures inside that I think maybe she took or there are pictures of her anyway so yes I'm really excited about this and I also saw that they now have an edition of Just Kids that's illustrated with her photography and painting so it's another one to look out for if you're interested, I think that would make a really lovely gift, so with this, so. Okay, so the next book that I got, again, from, from Chapters, um, I couldn't find the Virginia Woolf there or anywhere, so I was looking in the, the section that they have, like, arts and letters, I guess, 
uh, was what it's called. I got The Cost of Living by Deborah Levy. Um, I read Things I Don't Want to Know, um, her first in a series of, she calls it Living Autobiography, which was about kind of her, her childhood, really, um, in South Africa. And I think that, I, so I read that earlier this year, and she's kind of one of the really good nonfiction writers that I've read recently. And I have this kind of idea that for the coming year, I want to read more books that I think like I would want to write like that. And that's how I feel about Deborah Levy. I think that she's just a very masterful um, nonfiction writer, sort of essayist. And the her first book was in this series was so good that I just, I'm so excited to read the next one. And I love the cover. It has a typewriter and a pigeon on it. So what more could you want? So the next one that I got was at, again, at Book Warehouse, like I mentioned earlier, and that is The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden. And this is the second book in her, it's going to be a trilogy, it's called The Winter Night Trilogy. And unfortunately, I'm just not a big fan of these covers. The first, the, the Bear and the Nightingale in the UK cover was so beautiful, it's illustrated. I really do prefer illustrated covers. Um, anyway, that's beside the point. I'm excited to read this. I really think it's interesting how she incorporates kind of Russian folklore and Russian traditions and explores themes about kind of the tensions between religion and like organized religion and then folk tradition. So last but not least, I found Anna Karenina in the pretty edition. And yeah, I don't really have much more to say about that, except that I started reading it when we were having some tea at Pico, which is a really cute little cafe on Broadway. Yeah, it's really nice. It was it's really nice favorites. inside. It's so quiet and yeah. like not super hipstery. It just, it just And they have a huge rich. selection of tea yeah, that you can get um, there to drink or to take away. And what I really like is that they have, a, you can choose like a vintage teacup. Yeah, it's in. so cute. <laughs> Um, anyway, yes, I started reading that, this, um, in Pico, and, so yeah, I've, like, I'm annotating it already, because I want to get more back into annotating my books. Yeah, okay, so now you have two, like, your last Yes, books. I have two more left. The next, <laughs> the next one I got is called The Calculating Stars, and this is by Mary Robinette Cowell, Cowell, and... This is a science fiction, a historical science fiction. Um, I don't really know what it's about exactly. I do know it's about lady astronauts. So I'm really excited. And some random guy walked by us in the bookstore and was like, that's really good. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. Yeah, which is funny though. I just want to say, he was like nice about it. He was just kind of like, oh, oh yeah. this is an amazing book. I want to like spread the love kind of thing. But I've definitely had people approach me in bookstores and mansplain to me. <gasps> Do you mean Ada? Yeah, I was trying uh, to, I was looking for um, a Nabokov book and this guy came up to me who was like clearly like a grad student writing on this and he just, just was like, don't pick, me, pick don't pick this one, pick Don't pick this Nabokov, pick this one, this one, blah, 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 blah. And it was just like so condescending and mansplainy. And he just assumed that I had never read any Nabokov before, that I had like no idea what I was, doing or thinking and that was that was unpleasant but um i do like i wish that it was more of like a i wouldn't mind if people talk to each other in bookstores more about books just because we love them and not because we want to condescend to people exactly <laughs> so i think this is a kind of it's it's kind of cold war america and a meteorite hits earth and kind of shifts the historical narrative the tagline is pilot, physicist, wife. I'm like, yes. Anyway, so I think it's part of a series, which I'm excited to get to anyway. I hope it's good. I'll I, let you read it first. I hope it's good. And yeah. You can tell me. And then the last book I got is a book that I've been wanting to get for a really long time. In hard. This, in, in physical copy. And that is How to Survive a Plague by David France. The inside story of how citizens and science tamed AIDS. So I listened to this on audiobook, um, and I was it was such a long audiobook, but it was so fantastically written. 
it was so engaging and so just just the story that it tells is just so compelling and it just everyone needs to read this book because it's it's so pertinent even today what is it about did you say um so this is the story of the or kind of the origins of the aids crisis um told from someone who was kind of living through it and experiencing it it's following the kind of scientific side of aids and kind of how um mainstream medicine completely ignored what was happening and so it fell to the people with aids and uh, other citizens to kind of take it into their own hands so i mean people who didn't even know anything about science were teaching themselves science and they were the ones who really came up with um treatments for it it's just completely remarkable and I haven't read this, but I'm very excited that you bought a copy of it. So now, mm -hmm. I'm and I, I've known and I wanted to own a physical copy for a long time. It's really interesting because I read this, and then a month later, I went to see um, Angels in America, and it's so interesting to see how that would be fictionalized, um, and so many of the so much of the science was brought into the play. Yes, definitely read this. Definitely read it. <laughs> Anyway, okay. Okay, so yeah, that's all of the five billion books that we bought today. Um, I'm glad that we stopped ourselves from going to the third store because we would have bought more. I we have no self-control. I have no self-control, yeah. Um, anyway, so we're very excited to read all of these, and I hope that you like the video, and if you do like this this new type of video, let me know, and maybe I'll make more in the future. It's only been fun to make. Um, Subscribe if you're new or if you're interested, and we will see you again soon. Yeah, so bye!